Got a little bike race going on here. Look at that. The only way I could take these guys is with this. Should I race them? What do you guys think? 40 miles an hour, pedaling is perfect. All right, guys, so today we're making a video on upgrading your gears. So I got a big 60 tooth front chain ring for this powerful e-bike. This is a Wired Freedom. I know it says Wicked, but they changed their company name. And I did upgrade the back gearing also to a 34 to 11 tooth freewheel. Now, before it was 14, the smallest one, right? And the smallest one, and the gear up front was 52. So now we're at 60 and 11. And what I'm out here to do is show you guys what the pedaling is like after 35 miles an hour and see if um, it still looks like uh, you're on a hamster wheel. Because before, after that speed, you just feel like your legs are moving way too fast. There's a little bit of resistance, but not really enough to generate some power. And so this way we'll see if it's a little bit better. Don't worry about this chain. I know it's still rusted. I might still, uh, I might return that and keep this chain, just clean it. But if I like this, I'm gonna put a new chain on. So don't worry about that. But yeah, guys, let's see how it goes. The other gears, they feel great also. I can't switch to the first one right now because the chain is too short, but that's gonna be what I call the pedestrian emergency and hill climbing gear, meaning steep hill climbs. But for the most part, I'm gonna use the other ones, but it's nice that I can get more use out of the first gear because this bike just gives you so much power. It's almost useless with this, um, with the smaller front tooth chain ring because it's you just go so slow. This bike wants to go at least 15 miles an hour, bare minimum. people watching this bike race. We gotta go slower on the cops. Make sure I pedal so it looks like I'm not on a straight motorcycle or moped on this rail trail. And uh, we'll get a nice clearing and see if we can get some top speed. It's the weekend so people are out here walking and riding around. And it's, it's getting warmer in New England. Today is gonna be, I think it's right now, it's like 50 degrees, actually. It says 60, but it's not, trust me, it's not. It's more like 50, it's windy. Closer to 45, actually, but it will get closer to 60 degrees today. Can't wait, I don't have to wear these gloves. On your left. All right, here we go, guys. Speed. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Gear six. Gear seven. Let's go. A lot of wind resistance happening. Full throttle. Once you get to 30, that's where that gearing really shines. 
be nice to slow down around other people. I don't want to be that guy. But this gearing, it's like the SR-71 Blackbird. If you guys are familiar with the plane, it's made for high speeds, Mach 3 plus. And what happens is the exterior heats up and expands. So when the plane is on the ground, it's actually leaking fuel because the panels haven't expanded sealed shut yet. And it's actually more efficient at high speeds versus low speeds because of the jet design. So this is what the gearing is like. This gearing is pretty much made to be comfortable at high speeds versus the locked speed that this comes with. And let's be honest, if you're getting a bike like this or the Kepler, how are you guys doing? You're getting it to go fast. That's why you're getting it, guys. Otherwise, you'd get a 750 hub like all the other bikes out there, but not this. Let's see, we got a clearing. Let's go fast. Get a second. Wait for these people to pass. this is that you'll get more exercise too on these fast e-bikes whereas otherwise you just be spinning your legs not really applying any effort into the pedals which sucks but uh, I'm a little bit out of breath even after that one quick run I was pedaling hard and hopefully uh, my smartwatch is picking up my heart rate I'm gonna post what my heart rate is later on and uh, let you guys know during these top speed runs because I can see if I'm going fast, I'm probably pedaling hard and I'll just try and match it up, match up the speed with the numbers. But let's keep going. Let's see how fast I can go. I want to show you guys what it's like past 35 pedaling with these monstrous gears. this gearing is perfect honestly I'll probably keep this uh, 62 I was thinking about putting the 58 but this 60 feels good especially after 35 which I like going and I might in the future put a second motor up front <laughs> that's a direct drive which has a faster rpm than the geared hub motor and that will take you to speeds well over 40 every time because this is a 60 volt system. All right, again, I'm waiting for a clearing because I need a long stretch of uh, pavement, long stretch of road to test this out. Obviously this would be better on roads, but I want to see what the top speed is of this bike also on flat ground and this rail trail is super flat. While pedaling hard, I want to see what the top speed is. By the way, I'm 190 pounds. And uh, I'll give you guys a good reference point for yourself if you're planning on buying this bike. Some kind of like 
noise coming from the back. It's not motor related, some kind of vibration, maybe some loose spoke or something like that. I gotta check that out. Hopefully you guys don't hear that. I don't know what it is. I know it has nothing to do with the motor because I can hear it when the motor isn't on. But yeah, gear four, going 20, 22. Easy. This bike is insane. fast guys like I said you saw me I was pedaling moderately hard to as hard as I could I was even ducking down a little bit and you guys saw my pedaling good rpm non hamster wheel rpm speed was 35 miles an hour so if you're going downhill at all and you want to go 35 this gearing is mandatory Go down this road as fast as possible. See how it goes.
Oh my god, the wind is crazy! Jesus Christ! Crazy wind! Uphill. See the gearing is fine even for moderate hills. Totally fine. Call that gear the downhill gear 60 teeth to 11 tooth in the back 60 in the front you probably won't use that all that much on level road unless you weigh maybe like somewhere on 150 or less and you're easily getting 35 plus on a fresh charge but otherwise, if you have a slight downhill and you want to actually go as fast as possible, we'll call that the downhill gear. And I'm digging it, guys. I think it's great. But see, I can still pedal slow speed comfortably 15 miles an hour gear two, which means gear one is like a 10 mile an hour speed. Serious hill climbs or just chilling with pedestrians. Maybe your friend is riding an acoustic bike and you guys just want to chill at 10 miles an hour. That's what this first gear is. But now I can use all the gears effectively. And so what that big front, we front gear does, along with the 11 to 34 freewheel, is gonna give you more use from your gears. Cause these bikes, they go so fast and you end up just using the top half of the gears only and you might as well not even have the lower gears unless you run out of battery or you're on like 10 percent battery 15 percent and the bike is giving you no power so yeah guys i am digging it i think this is a worthy upgrade that i will keep so i'll probably throw that chain on make sure it can shift into the first gear and we'll call it a day.